Welcome to this video presentation of NATO host nation support. After this presentation, you should be able to recall the definition of host nation and host nation support, the five stages in host nation support planning process, the role and responsibility within host nation support, and the advantages and challenges with host nation support. Arrangements concluded between the authorities of host nations and sending nations and or NATO force form the basis of host nation support. All arrangements between NATO and the host nations is built upon a signed status of force agreement, also called SOFA. All NATO nations has already signed a SOFA with NATO when they become members. If NATO conduct operations outside NATO borders, they will be issued and signed a SOFA between NATO as representative of all the participating members and the host nation where the operation is conducted. If the operation includes movement of forces involving several countries, NATO will sign a SOFA with each individual country. The Allied Joint Publication 4-5 has summarized the host nation's support process into five stages. All stages are synchronized with the operational planning process for the NATO mission or exercise through the Logistic Operational Planning Group. In addition, NATO formally conducts three logistic conferences with all participating nations and relevant actors during the operational planning process. First stage is to determine if a standing host nation support memorandum of understanding exists. If not, an activity-specific host nation support Memorandum of Understanding will need to be concluded. Memorandum of Understanding is the foundation document in the host nation support planning process. It represents the formal establishment of the overarching principles for provision of host nations support between the NATO Allied Command operations, the sending nations and the host nation and establish the basis for follow-on host nation support documents. Stage two is development of the concept of requirements that addresses a broad functional support requirements, included land, air, maritime, security, transportation, telecommunication, facilities, etc. It provides the host nations with a list of required types of support, but does not yet furnish details regarding the timing and quantity of that support. Following the final logistic planning conference, and once sending nations have confirmed their troop contributions, the final destinations, the NATO Joint Task Force, in coordination with the sending nations, will confirm with the host nation and develop the host nation's statement of requirements for support. Development of the technical arrangement for provision of host nation support. Technical arrangement amplify the concept and procedures for the provision of host nation support common to all participants. The technical arrangement should contain a list of all nations participating in the military activity to ensure they are all considered as NATO-led forces. Development of the joint implementation arrangements that includes financial obligations serving as the fundamental contract between the host nation and the sending nations or joint task force for the provision of specific host nation support. Consequently, they are signed on a bilateral basis, even though they may have been developed collectively. NATO sending nations and host nations are the key actors in planning and agree upon host nation support. Note that the different sending nations 
may have different needs and therefore will sign their own joint implementation arrangement for support with the host nations. Host nation support can be seen as a magic hat from which local resources needed will pop up if you have done your agreements and preparations right. During any kind of operations or exercises, the host nation can render many different types of assistance to NATO forces. From the simple permission to cross the co country with troops, airplanes or ships, to a complete supply organization providing facilities, goods and services, and giving permissions to use the airports, seaports, military bases and so on. This slide shows some of the possible logistic support, but the list is not complete. It is almost impossible to conduct a military operation without host nation support. We will need access to either a harbor, an airport, roads or rail. We will need host nation support. Planning with host nation support will also give the logistic planners more possibilities or flexibility. Host nation support will decrease our military logistic footprint. Often in military operations outside NATO borders, the host nation support is limited because of the circumstances caused by a war crisis in that area. There might not be a proper and working political system, which can make it difficult, challenging to negotiate a host nation support memorandum of understanding and other agreements. If host nation support, most likely there will be limitations in availability, volume, resources and quality. Normally all host nation support will be subject to reimbursement. Funding involved may be national, shared multinational or NATO common funding. Amount of reimbursement will depend on the national cost standards. Within NATO, it is an understanding that no host nation is to seek financial gain from supporting a NATO force. Host nation support outside NATO borders might be a challenge to keep the cost on a break-even level. We have in this presentation introduced you to the host nation support. Key takeaway, all host nation support is pre-planned and mutual agreed upon, not an ad hoc tool. Thank you for following this presentation.